delicious Singapore food at Sembawang Hills Food Center. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are at Sembawang Hills Food Center to try some delicious food like this braised duck. And, of course, small noodles. And another noodle dish. This one is Hokkien prawn mee. So join me after the intro for more delicious good food. Welcome back. We are actually at Amokyo MRT station, which is at the north south line. And here, what you do is once you get off the gantry, you walk straight out and then you turn right to look for exit C. Exit C will take you down this escalator, and this escalator will take you to actually Amukyo Hub which is a shopping center so walk once you reach the bottom continue walking follow the corridor right to the end and at the end of the corridor there's a flat there's a stairs here take the stairs up okay and walk straight for a while then you'll see the first escalator going up take this escalator up and this escalator will take you to the Amokyo bus interchange. Yes, the bus interchange. So, continue going up all the way to the top. And here we are at the bus interchange. So, this is where we're going to take the bus. We are looking for berth 4 or B4. And this bus interchange, as you can see on my right here, is the bus interchange and is connected directly to Amokyo Hub which is a shopping center so we just keep heading down that direction to look for our berth or gates and the bus we're looking for is actually bus 169 which is at berth B4 and here's the bus so we're going to take the bus from here berth B4 bus 169 so we wait for the bus to come the door will open and then we'll get on the bus and we'll take the bus for six stops yes six stops so the bus will go out of the interchange after it goes out the interchange uh, you'll be in Amokyo then you will turn here turn there turn here then okay like I said so we're in the bus now this is the Amokyo MRT station so we'll be going around and then we'll turn 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 and then here, this is actually the Bishan Amokyo Park, which we will be doing uh, or going through here when we're doing our Kalang River adventure. But once you hit uh, Upper Thompson Road, you need to stop at this bus stop, which is the sixth bus stop. Okay, and this bus stop is actually along Upper Thompson Road. So once you turn into Upper Thompson Road, get ready to press the button to get down, because. After you turn up at Dawson Road, this is the first bus stop that you'll see. So press the button to alight at this bus stop. And the food center is actually across the road. And so this is Sembawang Hills Food Center, which is a food center along Upper Thompson Road. And this place is also well known for their clean toilets, which I think for a certain year they actually won an award for that. But why we came here is not to visit the toilet. We came here to look to see what type of good food that we can find at this place, which is the Sembawang Hills Food Center. So we will start from this place, which even before lunch started, this place, Seng Huat Duck Rice, there's already a queue forming even before lunchtime. And this place will 
have a continuous queue until they sell out all that they are braised duck and so this place here is they sell braised duck rice or braised duck porridge what I ordered here is their braised duck rice set which cost me $4.50 and this is the set first of all the rice the rice is nice and firm it goes very well together with the duck soy duck sauce that they put on top of it and then here is the soup which is a surprisingly good duck soup and the surprising part is it's slightly spicy it has a slightly spicy duck soup which is good and then you have the braised duck as you can see here looks really really good and it tastes really really good too on top of the duck they pour on top, on top of it a very nice duck soy sauce and you can see there's a lot of duck meat and also a lot of duck skin on the meat and on the skin under the skin there's a nice layer of fat which makes it very flavorful the sauce is salty with a nice duck soy sauce flavor and this flavor helps to bring out the sweetness in the meat one of the better braised ducks i've eaten in singapore you should come here and try and another store that i found is called jinji fishball noodles and here they sell um, fishball noodles but what i ordered from here is actually the uh, Teochew meatball noodles and here it is I ord it's, it will normally cost you three dollars but I ordered with extra noodle which cost me an extra 50 cent first of all the noodle has a very nice noodle texture to it and then the sauce that they mix into the noodles is a mixture of tomato ketchup and chili and it's nicely balanced with a with pop lard and it has a very nice old school taste to it so if you like the noodles with tomato ketchup you will like these noodles and then you also have uh, their teochew meatball soup in soup the meatball you can see is nice and big but unfortunately the meatball has more fish fish paste in it than any than meat so even though it's big, you can taste more of fish than really meat. But other than that, if you like your noodles with tomato ketchup, this would be a place for you to come and try. And the next place is one of my favorite places here to eat. It's this place called Changi Village Fried Hokkien Mee. And here they do their Hokkien Mee very well. I ordered the smallest portion which cost me $4 but here when you bite into the noodles the noodles have a very nice noodle bite texture to eat nice and bouncy and then there's a nice thick concentrated prawn seafood broth that they use to flavor the noodles it's nice and pocky with a good prawn seafood flavor and very very good very very delicious and it's when you look at it what I like here is it's wet. It has a nice wet slurpy noodles when you eat and you slurp the noodles down all your throat. Wow, delicious. They do the noodles here slightly wet but still because the wetness is actually from the prawn seafood broth which is totally flavorful and flavors everything and it gives it a very nice good flavor to it it's so good that you can either eat it alone which i would prefer because you can taste more of the uh, broth or you can eat it with the sambal both of them good both styles will make you satisfied feel your urge because this is a very good hokkien prawn mee fried hokkien prawn mee And lastly, before we go, we are we have come to this shop called Yongmi, and here they sell uh, curry puff. 
uh, normal curry puff is uh, $1 I ordered their chicken curry puff which cost me one thirty. and here is the curry puff one thing I'm a bit disappointed is the size of the curry puff for one thirty. the size is very small but it has a very nice flaky skin and it's freshly fried because it's still hot and once you open up when you taste it I like the uh, nice spicy curry flavor of the curry puff they put I felt that not enough chicken and they only put in a quarter of a hard boiled egg like I said portion size very small but it has a very nice spicy curry flavor to the curry puff which is nice and lastly before I go there's this shop here that sells uh, char kway teow the char kway teow here I've ordered before is just uh, average but what they do really well here is their otak the otak here has a very nice smoky flavor which I thoroughly enjoy and you should come here and try so what we have here is the Sabawang Hills Estate Taxi Service which is actually a old school hut where all in the past taxi drivers used to come here congregate here and you know people will call to this hut or people will come here to take a taxi and so the taxi drivers will wait here sit down drink coffee chit chat with their friends uh, and wait for passengers at this hut and so that was a look into the past but i hope you enjoyed our present view of the food that we eat here where we have our food adventure here at sabawang hills food center and we did try some good food and if you like good food you should come here and drop by and try the food here but before we go please do me a favor please help me by liking my video sharing my video and subscribing to my channel that's the important thing but before we go there's one last thing i want you to do for me please join me for my next food adventure i will see you then bye bye